Hi, this is John, tenured professor at Soft Cell Electrical School. Today, we are going to do a above ground hot tub heater replacement. The first thing you have to do is turn off the power, which I've done. Keep in mind that this is for educational purposes and that only skilled electricians should be doing this. And this is also for a refresher course if you've never performed this before or uh, if it's been a while if you are an electrician. So, like I said, let's get started. These are the original electrodes which get hooked on to these connections. Now, these need to be reconnected to these supply electrodes which are provided on the mother panel. This is the brain of the unit and it's responsible for turning the pump on and off. One sign that the heater is bad are these electrodes. When they're rusted like that, for sure your heater is bad. Now, I've gone ahead and unscrewed these couplings and drain the water. The next thing I have to do is disconnect the ground screw which is right here and any other connections like these sensors and pull that unit out. One thing I almost forgot is make sure you make a note of where your heater sensors go in. Now there's a possibility of five plug-ins here and these happen to go you have white, uh, unknown color, unknown color, white, and then black. So you're hooking the new sensors up to the two center white ones and it just so happens that the left one goes to the left sensor and the right one goes to the right sensor. Now we're going to slow down to normal speed here and verify that the thread size is the same, which it is. So we're not going to use these old ones. We're going to use the brand new ones. Take out the old seals. This is where magic lube comes in. This is not an endorsement of the product. It's just the material that you need to use. Apply silicone liberally. Very liberally. Put the washer into place. and repeat. These are the original electrodes which get hooked on to these connections. Now these need to be reconnected to these supply electrodes which are provided on the mother panel. Before you put on the electrodes, you want to use a no-locks or deox. Again, this is not a brand endorsement, but a product that you need to use. And you put a very small amount, it does not take much at all, on the contacting electrode. This is not required by code, but it's highly recommended for any electrodes that might be in a moist environment. And that's about all it takes.
Now, I've gone ahead and silicone the inside threads here, the outside surface. Same on both sides. I've loosened up these mount bolts. And so now we're going to slide it in. And it's not really necessary to put anything here, um, silicone, but it just makes it easier to thread. And um, that's really the reason why I do it. Now, before you lock these down, you want to make sure that your holding bracket nuts are tight. Left sensor gets plugged in. Right sensor gets plugged in. Now this is very important. You have a very tiny screw down here, or nut, that needs to be held on to when you tighten this top bolt. And the reason is very simple. These electrodes are held in by a very hard epoxy, which is heat resistant which means it's not like most epoxies which are soft. If you over tighten this without holding on to this nut underneath, you will crack this, you will compromise the heater, and your heater will fail, if not immediately, then probably within a year or two. So, as I'm showing you, you get a good hold, of that nut underneath, and then you proceed with the tightening. And this heater replacement is complete. Now, remember before you fill it, you want to plug up that drain plug, because it's real easy to forget. Okay, this is John with Soft Cell Electrical finishing up on the how to replace a hot tub heater video. I'd like to remind you that this is for instructional purposes only or for electricians that have either not performed this before or are a little rusty. So thanks for watching and keep tuned for my next video. Thanks and have a great day.